Welcome back for part two of the November Tiberium grind. Not taking out Boosty Box with the Inferno was a misplay. Cost 40, it's the easiest unit for him to replace. It's the easiest unit for him to replace and it's the one that has the lowest impact as well if you kill it. So I don't know if that's true. But maybe? Like, I don't know man, it costs 40 and it sits at the back. So it's like the easiest unit to replace, the lowest... It's not difficult for him to rebuild it, but maybe, maybe getting rid of it so he can't boost more units forward is the play. I don't know. Like, the problem is that Boosty Box is just one of the... It's just is the worst designed unit in the game. Like, it just shouldn't exist. That's the real problem. Sling the Sling Beaks Inferno with just blocking, honestly. So all you need to do is stop the Inferno having a direct route to the Sling, and you can beat it with a... With a you can win the 1v1. Like, Slingshot is... Slingshot is too good, I think. And then obviously sometimes you play against like Shade and it's complete trash and it's sad. Which is why Slingshot is such a horrible design as well. Which is why GDI Fortress is such a horrendous deck to play against. It's just full of units that are designed incredibly poorly. Like, most people don't play GDI Fortress because it's not actually a good enough deck to get a high win rate, right? Like, that's why people, that's why you don't see it very often. It's one of these decks where, like, if your deck is, is good against GDI Fortress, or, like, if your deck is bad against GDI Fortress, you just get crushed. Or if the map is good for GDI Fortress, you just kind of get hammered. But, like, that's not the case most of the time, so hardly anyone actually plays the deck. Because most people don't want to have a shitload of auto losses. Like, most players want to actually play the game instead of just having auto wins and auto losses. But if you're playing GDI Fortress, you're just looking for auto wins. And the same is true of like the like the same thing Oaken does. Like Oaken just plays decks which have like a bunch of type a bunch of matchups he can never win. But he doesn't care. Because he just wants he just wants a bunch of auto wins. Because it it's you know, like <laughs> Auto wins are good, right? Like if you just get free wins, that's that's good. So you get these people who play decks and just get a bunch of free wins. <laughs> But also have a bunch of auto losses. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New objective received. Building online. Unit ready. Let's go. Let's go. Stop the jam. What are we doing? We're going blind double harvester. We're going harvester what's air needed? tower. Like what's what's happening? Militia here. What's needed? Nothing. These people who play this, like, Rivals real-time strategy game, where a game is like, a normal average length of a game is about two minutes, and they don't do anything for the first minute of the game. Like, they literally don't start playing the game until halfway through it. They are AFK for the first half of the game. Like, fully one half of the game, they're just not there. Just so, it's just weird, man. Like, these, these games are just so surreal to me. See how many drones I kill with five, mi five missiles? It's like four. That's good because that's how many I wanted to kill. I was like, I really hope one of these drones survives because of the bug. That would be ideal for me. That was the perfect situation. Come on, man. Like, just stop throwing cash at my bike. Like, it's just ridiculous. These games are so stupid. This is like Orca number 18 over here. Building online. 
do something other than make bites. Like, it'd be nice if as not, I had an option that wasn't just making bites. But what can you realistically do as not, apart from just make bites? Oh my god, I killed my own... killed my own unit. Whoops. Honda Beach. Building online. Unit ready. Militia At least we took a loss when it was uh, still like Masters 3. If you, if you lose in Masters 1, then each loss is incredibly painful, but a loss at this stage is just like plus one win. And the start of every Rivals game is just exactly the same, like every time it's just exactly the same. This figure is just going to kill everything, right? There's just no way any of my units survive this Giga Cannon. Yeah. Absolutely everything is annihilated by the Giga Cannon. Seems balanced. I haven't seen any problems with this unit. Oh, sick boost, bro. Wow, really? The Giga moves in, not the bites? That is a bad play, my guy. The Giga is not the one that can move in. That's not how you Giga. The problem with Giga Cannon is Oxana. You could balance Giga Cannon if I, I think you could balance Giga Cannon if Oxana didn't exist. But being able to charge it up in like however long it is when you have the oh dude, what did I what did I say about moving the Giga in? It's not how you Giga, bro. It still almost killed the bikes. Like I had to boost my other bike squadron to get it into the pad in time. It still almost killed both bike squadrons. Such an absurd unit. Nuclear weapon launched. Who's here killing his own PC? I I built my PC. Is he the one that GG'd me? I don't think so. No, I don't think Raging Con ever did that. Actually, like, most of my interactions with that guy, I think I've only interacted with him, like, once or twice, and he's been pretty reasonable and pleasant guy. But, uh, you know, he does play GDI Fortress with MSV, so it's hard not to hate him. Like, it's really hard not to hate him. How was vacation? Vacation was super good, thank you. Really enjoyed it. Finished Breath of the Wild. Fantastic. Haven't touched Rivals since Snap. Yeah, I've barely touched Rivals since I started playing Snap. Although, to be fair, I was already, like, not playing Rivals that much before I started playing Snap. But yeah, I, I can play a ton of Snap. There's very little Rivals. Game is hella fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it, guys. 
Why do they move my rifles there? Like, it's not like they're going to do much damage to the flames, but moving them it doesn't really seem very sensible. Nuclear missile launched. We will be remembered. They killed them all. Revenant sake, ready to wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, sorry, bro. Leave me alone, dude. Oh, goodbye, Chuggy. Oh, I didn't die, that's weird. Can you kill this so I can make another one, please? Alright. Stealth tank really should kill Chemical Buggy. It should kill Chemical Buggy, it should kill Giga, and it should kill Artillery. It's a travesty the Stealth tank does not kill those units. Like, I think the Stealth tank damage nerf was fine. But I think the units, the units I just named should have hit point nerfs so they die to Stealth tanks. Like, it's ridiculous the Stealth tank does not kill those things. They are, they are like fragile ground units. That if something like a stealth tank reaches them, it should kill them. I want to play other decks, but I always feel like I get super funny when I switch deck. I did not build my second rifle quickly enough, and now I'm going to lose the rifle war because of it. Feels kind of bad. Yeah, look how far behind I am in the rifle war. You have to just go chemical buggy. Tank! Oh dear. That's not good for me. Tank beats Chemical Buggy first missile. Although normally like Tank Flamer beats it. I don't know if Tank Rifle beats it. I think it still probably does. Oh god, he has Buggy as well. Okay, we definitely lose first missile. Scorpion, uh, Scorpion Buggy is the absolute worst thing this deck could possibly play against. Like, you, you just auto lose to that. It's, it's an absolute, absolute nightmare. It's a hard counter to this deck first missile. If he has Phantom as well, that's like the actual best deck you can play against me. Because Tank Buggy wins first missile 100% of the time, and then you have enough money saved up from dominating with your tank that you can immediately Phantom when they Inferno. Another tank. Another tank is good for me, it means he probably hasn't got the money for a, for a phantom right away. Banshee? Oh baby. Oh baby. Super happy to see a Banshee. Super happy to see a Banshee. Fancy is like a total freebie. Just such a bad unit. <laughs> Just so comically terrible. Like, it's insane how bad Banshee is. That was uh, not a profitable tank. Not a very profitable tank. So glad he had Banshee and not um, a good unit like Phantom. Thank you, it's such a such a freebie man. You are victorious. Objective received. Harvester moving. 
Yeah, come on, 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 come Two halves. Cheeky. Why are you messing with me, Hamoda? It'd be nice to go wheel opening with Tick Tank. So that I can go very fast Tick Tank. But the problem with that is then you don't play Chuggy. Because if you're playing wheel, you have to play Flames. Unless I was just an absolute mad lad and played like... Wheel opening. Wheel opening into, into Chemical Buggy. That doesn't seem great though. You never beat Mutant Marauder in your life. Just like concede all games to Mutant Marauders. Where's your Orca, Hamoda? We all know you want to make it. Yeah, if Banshee had like regular Raider, then it would be a very good unit. I mean, like, Ra Raider is by far the most powerful ability you can give to a unit, so if you give anything Raider, it makes it a lot better. You guys remember when Disruptor didn't have Raider? I don't know if, how long ago you guys have played for. It's probably probably most people will not remember Disruptor without Raider. But if you think about how Disruptor works as well, it doesn't have a lock on time. It literally has to charge up its shot. So every time the enemy any, every time the enemy moves, it has to re reload and restart its attack. Basically, imagine that but without Raider, because that's how it used to be. It was considered one of the worst units in the game. Like, all your opponent had to do was move out of the way every, like, four seconds, and it couldn't even hit things. Objective complete. I feel like I'm meant to bike rush this guy. I don't know why, but I have a, I have a feeling this guy opened buggy against me. Nope. <laughs> Hmm, this has not gone well, chat. Uh, what do we do? He went laser first, so I, d I definitely can't go... I definitely can't make a harvester here. So I think we're committing. Committing to the rock. Maybe this was the dude... I swear he did open buggy. Mm. I'm not 100%, but I feel like this guy opened buggy against me last time. New ISP transfer fund. What's up, Ice? Tiberium grind confirmed. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Heist. He did, yeah, this guy did open buggy. He has buggy and rifle. Because I remember commenting on it and going, this guy opened buggy and he has rifle. What a lunatic. Why would he not open rifle? And I was also saying about how I need to remember people's names so I bike rush them when they open buggy. And then I bike rush him and he doesn't open buggy. It's so rude, man. Actually, like, the first time I remember to bike rush someone and they don't open buggy. Absolute nightmare, bro. Absolute nightmare. And he's playing Giga Cannon. I don't want to make a tick tank against Giga. Well, that is surprisingly, surprisingly resilient against Giga Cannon. The lock on time on tanks is so good. This guy knows that. Oh no, he's not dead. I was, I was like, oh, this guy knows he's dead, right? And then I realized he's still first missile. Because I was dicking around on his uh, on his harvester for so long. Watch this Inferno drive into my stealth tank. Not quite. It's too slow is the problem. The Inferno moves too slowly. If it was a faster aircraft, he would have driven into my stealth tank. Because it's so slow, he has ages to see it and move out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Got him. Oh shit, what? what? Did you see that bullshit splash? Outrageous, man. Let's find out. I mean, well, this gig is super low, so of course I didn't kill it. Let's do an obelisk as well. Not that we really need one. Now he knows the game is over, right? Okay, cool. Cool beans. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective received. Time to 
Yeah, right, Pablo? Thank you. I thought I'd gone insane. He used to be a different color, right? I can't remember what he used to be. But he came in and he was blue, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And no one else seemed to care or notice. Like, if you came in one day and you weren't the, the sweet, deep teal, I would be pretty sad. I'd be like, who is this guy? This is not the fake Pablo. I'd be like, maybe this is the real Pablo. Uh, you can have it as whatever you want, Code. It, yeah, red red makes sense. That's what I thought it was. You can have it as whatever you want. It's just that it was it was surprising as all. Well. It was a shocking game. I wasn't expecting it. Also, everyone say congratulations to Code. But I'm not going to tell why you why. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, I hate <laughs> what an absolute lunatic. Oh, he's got tank? Oh, damn it, man. How do I keep playing against tank? I gotta stop making Chuggy, like, aggressively. Because if your opponent has tank, it's actually just really bad. Alright, we need to stall. Oh, Pablo was the prime. Thank you, Pablo. Wait, I'm playing Tick Tank. I don't have any fun. One more month, baby. In that case, I need to get I need to get my tank borrowed. That's like the most important thing. Oh shit, a banshee! Look out, boys! The mighty banshee is here. Actually, the banshee is kind of annoying at this spot because I'm heavily pop capped on things. It's actually tough. In fact, there's no way I can win this missile, right? I can't I can't fire enough times to kill this banshee in time. Oh, I could have gone bottom and killed this tank. I probably win the missile. Yeah, I could have won the missile if I'd gone bottom and killed this tank with the bike because it was super low. Man, imagine Banshee being a problem. What a nightmare. This is really not the map I wanted to play on if I was going to play Tick Tank. See, this is what I'm saying about getting punished. Like, I play something for fun, and then I just play against. I play on like fucking Stonewall with tick tanks, which is just a really bad place to have tick tanks. Just a really bad place to have tick tanks. Like, if I play anything but Inferno Chuggy, I just get punished, because that's the only deck that has, like, solid win rates in, in, in like, pretty much all situations. Like, this Scorpion is a nightmare, man. Like, you can't, you can't beat, you can't beat Scorpions with ticks in, like, a normal way. So I need to try and, I need to try and cane, I need to try and cane and hopefully get both Scorpions. Oh, nice. I think I might get both scorpions, that'd be huge. I think we win here. It kind of looks like it anyway. Oh shit, he has his own cane. Oh no. It's uh, real bad. Oh, got the block. GG, easy son. Man, that's what I get for changing there. Wait, I'm not. I haven't won yet. Oh my god, that was missile two. Are you kidding me, bro? How was that missile two? It's like the longest game of rivals ever. Oh. This is not a good matchup. I haven't had a chance to get a stealth tank yet either, which would be really good. It's a split shot. No, I didn't split shot. Frog docks. Mmm, tasty frog docks. Love a frog dock. Nothing quite like a juicy frog dock at the end of a game. Oh, 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I don't know how to hold the scorpion. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Yes, I am the greatest. Oh, I am the greatest that ever was and ever will be. Although I do like the guy, I like the main guy, like I like the actor, so that definitely helps. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed Narcos Mexico as well. I thought that got worse when, uh, well, spoiler alert, I thought that got worse when he's not being in it. I feel like this guy does something weird, but I don't remember what. Buggy opening. I actually, I actually had a gut feeling I should try crush him, and I didn't, do, didn't believe it. I regret that now. I think I need to fight with Nice yeah, for a while. I don't want to go bikes. I want to go shade against Buggy. So I need to use lasers. So if, yeah, flamer here is bad for me. So if he has buggy, he might not have bite. Oh, God damn it! Bike flamer beats um. Bike flamer beats venom laser like pretty easily. No, oh, so close! Come on! Ah. Screw you, game. It's like impossible to get a shade first missile. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because you can definitely get an Orca first missile and they cost the same. Maybe it's because he opened Buggy, it's just way too far. That sucks, man. I'm so close to winning that missile. Winning that missile would have been great. I have a lot of lasers, my dude. Wow, that is, that really is a lot of lasers. It's not looking good, I think I'm dead. Maybe not. Shade save the day. Hoggy! Shade in fact save the day. I don't know if the obelisk was relevant, I couldn't tell. I'm loving this every unit of my half thing though, that's uh, some high quality gameplay. I actually think I just want the pop cap, right? I have like 200 tip. So I think I'm okay with this. Although, I guess if I obelisk, that's most of the tip gone. So yeah, maybe not. I guess I just don't obelisk if I want the extra pop cap. That's probably the play. That is a cyborg. Are you kidding me? Well, that's definitely everything on the Alright, great job, Bobble. Hey, Lurza! Surprise, surprise cyborg right there. Mission accomplished. Also a pretty respectable number of hours that was. What's your what's your following dates respectively? That's the real question. Pablo is 16th of September 2020. Ice is 15th of December 2021. That's like quite a lot longer that you've been following, I think, Ice. Although, to be fair, sometimes the follow is, uh, sometimes the follow is buggy. 
He <laughs> don't back ways off being pink. Nah, if he wants to be pink, that's his decision. Can't time him out for it, unfortunately. Oh, it's Goo Brazil, okay. It was like this guy's playing pretty well. Who is this Gibroni? This does not look great for me. I have to fly the shade over the top here. Say I'm always impressed when a rival's player like can see the harvester with their units and doesn't immediately attack it, and then he immediately attacks it with his pitbull. <laughs> I was like, oh, good job, man! He didn't just immediately attack it, and then the pitbull just went there immediately after I said, oh, I it. I don't think I can get to this pad in time, but maybe. No, I can't. That's really sad, man. I fucked that one up. I should have won that missile. I had the tools, but we didn't have the. I didn't have the space to put the cane down. No, I didn't send my air unit off top quickly enough. Otherwise, I would have won that missile. This deck is not good versus GDI. Oh, yeah, he's playing strong arm. I didn't even notice that. Alright, those shots annihilated my all list. What the fuck? Unit offline. Objective complete. Three. One. New objective received. Time to harvest. Looked for a handful of months before you saw. Now you're like triple S tier viewer. Destroy the GDI. Unit ready. Let's go. Greater than all the pleb viewers in chat. What's no stop? Unless the unbeliever ready to serve for the unit ready. See how I put this one down here before I move the other one off? See how high, high tier plays. Here comes the drone swarm. Gee, a drone swarm? What a surprise. Also, like, ignoring my slightly damaged units to immediately go after the full hit point one. Also, very unsurprising. Wow. Six missiles, four kills. Feels good, man. That's the dream. This guy's for sure gonna have um I'm ahead, right? Defense online. Unit offline. Venom, 
Wow, Obelisk doesn't kill an APC in one volley? I did not know that. Today I learned. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a fun game with Mario Kart Arrival. You are victorious. That game is so Three, good, though. Battle Lord is like one of my favorite games. One. New mission received. Time to harvest. Building online. Unit ready. This guy's playing tank. We know that for sure. Because we played him last last time we played him was on this map. And he had tank. Unit ready. So we want to rifle mirror for as long as possible because we know we need to go. We, need, we know we need to go infernos in this matchup. So we want to just rifle mirror and stall. Let the game go late. So I played the other Commander Conquers. I played most of them. I played CNC 95, Red Alert 1, Red Alert 2, Generals. Uh, I think I haven't played Red Alert 3. I played CNC 3 and King's Wrath. I think Red Alert 3 might be the only one I haven't played. So I've played most of them. Given that we know he has tank, I might actually be going Inferno as my first non rifle unit. Although, that doesn't really make sense against rifles. I need to save up enough money to make Inferno and Chuggy and lasers. That's when I can start doing relevant things. So it's a lot. I need, this is why I need the distort for as long as possible. Because I don't really want to start fighting until I have like 300 tib. Because you don't want to be using Inferno to kill rifles. You want to use Chuggy for that. You just made a tank and a rifle wall. Good choice, man. It's a real shame if you uh, didn't kill my rifle with your tank. And there's a Banshee. Well, Banshee is an easy to kill. Alright, cool. Can you miss out? Fuck that up. That's actually kind of painful. Losing that, losing that side of the street, isn't it? Wow. The Banshee suicide plan. I'm actually going to go stealth tank instead of Inferno to try and kill Venoms quicker. That's not good for me. I'm going to win those. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Alright, so we got the same matchup. We know we need to stall again. Which is, I mean, he should have learned from last game. But you never know. To be fair, we were holding off the scorpions pretty well with the rifle, uh, with the lasers. Yeah, we're going to drive a war for a million years. What time is it in England? It is 10 p.m. You know he has Venom as his tech switch. So if, we, if he goes Venom, we'll, uh, we'll probably just go straight into Stealth Tank instead of fights. Because we know he has the tank as well. And the Stealth Tank is really good against the Venom. Is he going to chase me all the way to my base? Damn it. Why didn't it spawn on the spawn point? That actually really messed me up. Because I said I baited him into my spawn point. And then it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't spawn on my spawn point. It spawned somewhere else. It messed me up. That was super annoying. Unit offline. 
Now he's had time to build the tank. Yeah, this really fucked me. And now for some reason he's made a banshee, even though the banshee is garbage and I have a stealth tank and lasers. Suddenly a weird choice. Unit ready. Unit offline. Unit ready. 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 so much harder, man. Can't just win with Chuggy when your opponent has something that kills the lasers without dying to Chuggy. I can't- well, I guess I can refer them now. I don't know what I need to do. Stop doing the tanks when I refer them. I missed it with the Inferno, that was so painful. Like accidentally sending it back and it dies. The Infernos have not been good in this match now. Spam bikes! Just make bikes, my dude. That's how you beat everything with not. Really enjoyed it. Although it was over like ridiculously quickly, I felt. <laughs> not, oh, that's, the, that's the wrong opening building. Did not feel like I was gone for a whole week. It's like my opening laser is not going to be punished. My opponent also opened garbage unit. Heals poggies, man. You should save for VIP, man. That's the that's clearly the gentleman's play. Laser squad, power and precision. I just gave me defenders advantage. That seems odd. Building online. Your command. That boost is painful. That boost is actually a huge beating. This fucking first unit laser that I made is so painful. Alright, I think we're gonna get that. But that was real. That was a lot closer than it needed to be. Why did he stop making units? He took time off to build his second harvester. Smart. Smart play. Gotta get that second harvester going right at the end of the first missile. And then Orca, perhaps? Yeah. No surprises there. Welcome to GDI. Unit ready. Where's the, the half, bro? He put the half in the corner of the map? 
Oh my god. He did. He put the hob in the corner of the map. What a beating. Alright, lucky that he didn't commit to that first missile. Huh? Then I might have been dead. Except not really. I don't want to set the second missile easily as well. You are victorious. It's a lot easier to play Orca than MLRS or Pred. It's definitely easier than playing MLRS. Orca is a pretty easy unit to play, like that's why it's so popular in lower leagues, right? Like at least at a basic level, it's easy to play Orca. I think really, really high skilled Orca play is incredibly difficult, but like make Orca attack vehicle with it, very easy to do. Very efficient as well. It just, ro it just rolls up and insta gives the thing you're targeting. But yeah, it's like crazy popular. I have 53k towards VIP on track to get there in half a decade. You have VIP, con man. I also struggle with playing Orca properly, Dead Bob. I think I think, I think playing it really well is incredibly difficult. But playing it like to a very basic standard of make Orca attack thing is incredibly easy and still pretty effective. Unlike mutants, where playing them, uh, playing them well is, is the same as playing them badly. You just make them an attack. Unit offline. Missiles locked. Attack point ready to rumble. Oh, Unit offline. You paid the <laughs> you paid the gold price. <laughs> I like to consider the points the iron price for uh, VIP. Or I guess if you murder someone else who has VIP and take their VIP, that's also the iron prize. That was a great show, man. Like up until the last two or three seasons, so many good, so many good lines as well. Like the whole iron price thing is just so good. I use that, like we use that all the time. Alright, so I think we're going to end part two here, but uh, join me next time for part three.